often we hear people say, my faith is between God and me. My faith is private. My faith isn't worn on my sleeve. I believe spending time with God in secret, in private. Jesus certainly did spend time alone with his father. He went away to commune with his father often. However, there is another side to our faith. And in today's gospel, Jesus compares sharing our faith with placing our light on a lampstand. A Palestine home in Jesus' time was typically made of hardened clay with enough windows to let light in, but small enough to keep, keep out dust and heat. An oil lamp inside the house burned precious oil. It was put on a lampstand so everyone could see its light. And people would laugh if someone lit a lamp and hid it in a vessel or put it under a bed. The Lord uses this comparison to show us that we must let our relationship with God, that our faith, be known. God showed, Jesus showed his relationship with God the Father known in his dealing with people around him. He showed gender equality when he talked, about, talked with the woman at the well. He showed social justice when he forgave the sins and told the adulteress not to sin anymore. He showed civic responsibility when he ate with the tax collectors. On a busy street, a woman's car stopped. Raising the hood, she searched in vain for the problem. Drivers negotiated around her, blowing their horns and hurling bad words. Over a hundred cars passed before a man rolled down his window and asked if she needed any assistance. A hundred cars passed. Apparently, many were too busy to pause. But the word of God says today, don't say to your neighbor, I will give you tomorrow when you can have it with you now. As a response to God's goodness to us, Jesus wants us not to hide that light of goodness or to postpone it till the next day, implying that each of us is like a lamp. In the light of a great principle, great school principle hangs a poster with these words on it. My life shall touch a dozen lives before this day is done, shall leave countless marks for good or ill before the sun sets this evening. So is the wish I always wish. Let my life help the other lives it touches by the way. As mentioned in today's first reading and in the gospel, we let our light shine when we help our neighbors and others. We let our light shine when we respectfully share views on the protection of the unborn and when we share equal rights for men and women in their roles in the family. We let our light shine when we know issues and vote for those who favor Christian values. We let our light shine when we care about the less fortunate than we are and when we care for the earth. We shed our light when we smile, a genuine smile, when we say a kind word, when we lend a helping hand or give time to someone in need. We let our light shine. We can do, we all can do something. Sharing our faith takes courage, especially when we are challenged or belittled. And courage is contagious. Your courage can encourage others to be courageous. Or if we choose to hide our light under a bushel, or we remain silent or passive, we are not letting our light shine. Your shining light can encourage others to let their lights shine 
to 